Oh, you know, yeah, he was. Absolutely. He was. He loved hooking. And, and that's, yeah, yeah. But that's why a lot of people right. go to the game, don't they, to watch the players like you. and Because you were flamboyant. I mean, I think it was, you, 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 even though you yeah. obviously tightened up, but you liked playing your shots, didn't you? Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, I, I took that advice on board. And uh, from then on, things got better. They, yeah. they, they certainly did. So, you, when did you, you came in, what, the fourth test of that? Forty eight. Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. I got a, I got a game by, I got a game by accident. I was twelfth man for the first three during the third Test match. Uh, we had England nine wickets down. Ian Johnson was bowling to Dick Pollard, and Sid Barnes was filling in, silly mid on. Mm. And of course, there's no protective gear in those days for fieldsmen. Uh, no thin pads. No. Yes, guards, uh, mm. helmets, no, nothing. He was feeling he was feeling bit on. Ian Johnson bowled this ball to Dick Pollard, who was intent on the whoop, belling it out of the ground. Mm -hmm. And Sid could see this thing coming, so he turned his back on it, and the ball uh, hit, whacked him right in the middle of the kidneys, <laughs> and he went down like a spun melon. Yeah, yeah. And all of a sudden, four bobbies appeared out of the crowd and carried. Poor old Sid off the ground. Four coppers. The wow. room. Took him off. Four coppers. No ambulance. Coppers. Bobbies. No, yeah. I, I, I had the bobby hats on and everything. Yeah, wow. Really? Wow. wow. Yeah, so they carted him off into the dressing room. Yep. And, of course, we got the fellow out next ball, I suppose. Mm. Uh, so we all tripped off. And when we got up to the uh, dressing room, Sid was on the table. And all of a sudden, he sat up. He said, and he said, you know, fellas, he said, that would have killed a normal human being, he said. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so as it, as, it turned, as it turned out, he had 12 days in the hospital. So yeah. well, that, so he that means cool. he couldn't play in the least test match. Mm -hmm. So yeah. the morning of the test match, I thought, well, Sid Barnes is opening bats for now. Bill Brown has been dropped for the Manchester Test, mm. opener for an opener, I'll be 12th man again. So, more than a test match, went down for breakfast at the Queen's Hotel in Leeds. Mm. All of a sudden, Bradman comes up and sits alongside me and he said, you're playing today. Yep. How'd that feel, Well, mate? I think I was about to attack my 700th kipper. <laughs> <laughs> because of that... that that was about all you could get in those days for breakfast. Kippers. Kippers. There was really? no eggs or bacon and eggs or out. They couldn't have those. So he'd have a kipper or a piece of toast and that was it. Yeah. Oh, no. So <laughs> anyway, he said, you're playing today. So the kipper got thrust aside and the butterflies took over. So, Hey, Neil, so. that must have been a pretty good feeling though, mate, hey, getting selected for that fourth test. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I was... Uh, I don't know, I was laughing or mouth here, huh? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Where was that but, game? Where was that played at? You remember where the fourth, where was the fourth test? Well, I'll, I'll tell you what happened if you got the time. But uh, Yeah, Neil, absolutely. England won the toss and batted. They made 496. Yep. Which is a pretty healthy score. Yeah. So, that was a couple of wickets. We were in and we were aware of some overnight rain. The wicket was, became a bit greasy and, and seemed about a bit. And Pollard was a, a pretty good seam bowler. Anyway, uh, chasing 496, and we lost. Hazard opened up in place of Barnes. Yep. Opened up with uh, Morris. And that was the two openers. And Bradman was number three. Miller, four, and I was five. Fair batting order, mate. And we started off badly. We, we were three for 68, chasing 496. Hassett was out, Morris was out, and I was putting a pad on, putting my pads on in the dressing room, and I had one pad on, and I heard this tremendous roar, and I looked through the glass, and I saw Bradman's old stump on the ground, yeah. and we're three for 68, yeah. and I'm in, yeah. and Miller was out there. Yeah. I went out, and he came over and met me, and he said, uh, I'll tell you what, he said, you get up the other end. And he said, I'll take the bowling for a while. Yeah. Did, did you get yourself organised? Yeah. I said, it'll do, mate, mate. So, so I got up the bowling end and, uh, and Keith took the bowling for a couple of overs and 
Oh, I've been very thankful for the way he's looked after me in this particular day. Yeah. Uh, anyway, after all, I brought Laker on. Yeah. And uh, Laker. as we all know, he was a pretty fair officer. Yeah. Very good. And Laker's first over, I think the third ball, Miller put one foot down the wicket and the ball disappeared over my head down the bowler's head yeah. on the way up and finished up in the crowd for six. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And I thought to myself, gee, that was pretty good. Yeah. Two balls later, it did exactly the same big thing. Yeah. Hit the ball into the crowd for six. Yeah. And I thought to myself, gee, this can't be such a tough game after all. <laughs> 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 and so, anyway, Keith and I put on a hundred. Yep. And then Keith got out for 54, and, and my old mate Sammy came in, Zabby Loft, and we put on a, a hundred. I suppose when I I got my century, uh, when when I got it, uh, Sam rushed down from the other end with all his excitement uh, to shake hands to me. Mm. And I suppose he could have been really on run right out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but gentlemen playing the game in those days, it didn't happen. But. Uh, he was so excited for me. He reckoned it was the happiest day of his cricket life. Oh, really? Having my rowboat in his first test match, getting 100. In England. Ah, uh, mate, that's, wow. that's, that's, fan, that's fantastic. And did you, and then that game, you, um, how many did you end up with in that innings, Neil? Yeah, well, I got to 100, and oh, I think being a 19 year old growing up, didn't know a clue, took her life into my own hands, and I hit Laker for three fours in a row. And tried to the fourth one and got bowled. Now, that was, looking back, it was an absolutely stupidity to do that. Now, if Bradman had been in the other end, he would have come up to me and he said, he, he would have said, hey, come on, put your head down and get another one. But being young and silly as I was, I got carried away and I had three fourths in a row and tried to the fourth and got out. I didn't get chastised, I must admit, but I yep. think I deserved it. Yep. And, uh, yep. Uh, and we ended, up, we ended up being still behind in the, yeah. uh, in the first innings, but yep. uh, put us in a better position than uh, what we would have been. But the second innings was, I think I witnessed probably the, the one of the best partnerships I've ever seen uh, between Bradburn and the Morris. They, yep. they got 170 and 181 each. Yep. And uh, uh-huh. as Bradburn says, at the time, it's Australia's greatest ever test victory. Actually, I hit the winning run. Uh, there was only four runs to get when I went in. And uh, I suppose you know that I'm the reason that Bradman didn't average 100 in test cricket. Because if Bradman had got that winning run, hit the four runs to win, he'd have averaged 100 in test cricket. Instead, I got them. <laughs> 